All right, well, we got our first uh, wedge top frame failure, and I, you know, honestly, I wasn't pulling hard on this thing at all. Pretty much as soon as I stuck my hive tool in to crack it loose, it just started snapping, and I could see actually going along it, it tried to break a couple other places before it finally broke through. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know if it's just, you know, it's probably just a weak piece of wood, no big deal. Um, but it's still usable. It's not junk, so don't throw it away. My first thought was, crap, there goes a the frame. I'm going to have to cut myself a new wedge, but then I'm like, Why? You don't have to cut a new wedge, just nail this one back together. You're going to nail it right back on anyway, right? Now, in the future, at some point, I'll cut the comb out of this, and I'll go to pry this out, and it'll snap in half again, and it'll probably tick me off then. But the fact is, it's not junk. I'm going to nail it right back in anyway. So, really, I showed you guys how to do that before, you know, when you nailed in your foundation. Stand your foundation up. I'm going to set my wedge right back in against it, and it's just it just means I'm going to have to use two pieces of wedge instead of one. But not that big of a deal. Um... Technically, technically it's a wedge failure, but not really because it's a very easy failure to overcome. It looks like uh, it's starting to rain again. No surprise there. It's been doing this all day. It just rains real hard for about 30 seconds and quits. So it's a good day to be in the shop uh, putting foundation and frames. So real easy. My uh, brake is right here. <laughs> you can't even see it unless you look for it. So still only had to use five brads too. Good deal. Uh, what I was going to say, though, was on these wedge top frames, if you could find a way to make top bars yourself that was cost effective, if you had a really good wood shop or you just have a lot of time, you know, I'd always tell you guys I don't make my own frames because it's just not cost effective to, they have too many little nicks and cuts and curves and stuff for it to be time effective for me to do it. But if you could find a way to do it, it might be a good advantage because when you get this wedge top frame from the manufacturer, that wedge has not been broke out yet and it rarely breaks out smooth. You can tell I've got some little wood shavings over here where a couple of them broke out kind of jaggedy and so I kind of cleaned it up a little bit with my hive tool but if you're making your own frames you could put on saw and you could run all the way through and just go ahead and take that wedge off yourself so that you're not having to break it out and worry about it you know breaking there or uh, being real rough the manufacturer but again you know I still I've never really messed with it but I haven't found a good way to build frames myself quickly and effectively uh, and so until I do I'll be buying them in bulk unassembled